hey guys what's up I didn't see you there I'm just airing out my dirty laundry so anyway how is it hanging it's Thursday night slash Friday morning by the time you see this it'll be Friday morning um hopefully you are out or were out having a fantastic Thursday night which is when I'm recording this I'm getting all confused with the time and stuff um basically what's happening is that I'm pre-recording these by like just a few hours or a few hours plus six or something and um, but instead of just telling you that it's Friday morning which is why I look wide-eyed and and bushy-tailed and wide awake and well-rested and um, well-nourished and um, nutritive and organic and locally harvested um, I am, I'm just being honest, because I feel like the minute I lie to you, the trust goes out the window. So, in that case, I feel like I should also tell you that when I aired out my dirty laundry, that was clean laundry. I was just airing out, oh, wait a minute, the phrase is airing my dirty laundry. It's not airing out my dirty laundry. Ah, crap balls. Damn nuggets. Darns. <laughs> Shucks. I'm trying to think if there's time for me to... Okay, hold. Oh, hey, you guys. I didn't see you there. I was just airing my dirty laundry that happens to be clean. So, anyway, welcome to the Daily Allison again. <laughs> Thursday night, I am crazy! <laughs> They're just totally different than other nights or times of the day. I have something interesting to tell you. Um, I still haven't heard word one from Buttons people, Buttons Associates. Button is the dog I'm trying to adopt. And it is making me sad. And it's making me sad right here. Right in my heart. You can't see where I'm pointing, so I'll just just show you. It's right there, if that's where my heart is, which is like, I think your heart's actually in the middle. Also, I have something to say for people who watch this who are freelance or um, otherwise not employed. <laughs> um, yesterday, I woke up pretty early and I took a shower right away and I put on makeup and then I did an interview and then I went out and met with um, a friend of mine and then I came back and I did another interview and then I went back out and met with another friend of mine and I had such a good day, and it makes me think that perhaps what I like to do, which is get up and then, like, drink coffee and then sit around like this for a while and then be like, eh, I'm not, you know, do I have to take a shower? I'm not going out of the house. I don't know, I could just want to work like this, and then I just check my email all day, and also I'm very productive. Um, it's making me think that perhaps human beings are designed to, like, actually do more than I do. Although I'm very, extremely busy <laughs> and very in demand, in case you're wondering. And very, I mean, I'm extremely popular too. My doorbell has rang like 12, four, 12 400 times. Um, and I just, I edit it out with a special doorbell muter software that I run on this. It's like, it's all production values, no doorbells. Uh, I actually use black and white film when I draw the colors on each cell with a, uh, a brush. It's this one. I just go, I go like this. Uh oh, it's get the brush gets giganticer. It's bigger. I was like, oh, look at that. Wait, let's see. Where is my nose? Oh, it's making me sneeze. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let's call up my guest, shall we? It's Natalie Del Conte. Del Conte. She is the host of Loaded and of Buzz Out Loud on CNET TV, and she's a correspondent for the CBS Early Show. She's a tech reporter, and she's one of my friends. She's a wonderful woman and a neat gal. And here we go. Let's call her up. Okay. So how are you? How's your Thursday night, Friday morning? My Thursday night, Friday morning is good. Um, I am getting all bloody over here in my kitchen because I'm cooking, and I have Oh my word. I mean, a real contact sport here in the kitchen of Natalie. 
Yeah, it's sort of like water for chocolate. Like, there's a special ingredient you're putting in your food, and it's your blood. I would like to make it clear that no blood makes it into the <laughs> Okay. So wait, did you buy these lobsters live? Well, see, I went to Fairway and I wanted a pound and a half of lobster. So they gave me the lobster and they said, well, we'll cook it for you and then shell it. Um, and I needed the shells for the stock of the soup that I'm making. And so then I came back 10 minutes later and they're like, our boiler's not working. The lobster already died, but, um, you know, it's not all the way cooked, so we'll give it to you half of cooked and then you go home and finish it off. And I was like, all right, but when I ordered the lobster and they fished it out with the whatever, I felt so guilty I had to walk away. I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, and then sorry. they gave you this, like, partial birth lobster. Ew. They gave me this dead lobster but not fully cooked. And, and then when I put it in the pot myself, I kept apologizing to him. <laughs> to him. Well, I'm sure. And then now I'm hacking into it and I'm still like, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Well, he's exacting his revenge because you're getting all bloody, it sounds like. It seems like it. Wait, so what are you cooking? What fancy thing are you making? Lobster corn chowder. Wow. It's very impressive. I don't uh, I do not do any of that stuff. I just do weird stuff. Um, so... This is pretty weird. Not as weird as the stuff I make, which involves a lot of Splenda and just ingredients that shouldn't go together. So... <laughs> I, um, like, blabbed a lot at the beginning of this, so we don't have that much time, so I think we should just go straight to the quiz. Oh, man, I get cheated. Okay, that's... I know. I'm sorry. It's because I was talking about this unpleasant woman at the laundry place. Okay. This is the Allison Rosen Getting to Know You, Getting to Know Me quiz. Um, what is your name? Natalie. And what is your favorite dessert? Peanut butter. That's your favorite dessert? Interesting. Okay. If you weren't occupation, what would you be? If I wasn't a journalist, I would be an ice skater. <laughs> and how do you know me? We met on Red Eye, I believe. That is right. Wait, did you really ice skate? No. Oh, okay. I would like to know how to do that. Well, that, that's a perfectly acceptable answer. Um, I would be a figure skater, not not just a like speed skater. I right. To wear the Donna Karen designed uh, tutus like Michelle Kwan. Right, you'd do axles, you wouldn't um, score goals. What is the most expensive gadget you've ever had in your possession, and did you drop it? I did not drop it. It was a diamond-encrusted iPhone case that cost something like $100,000, and I would not get on the subway with it, and I, my hands would just shake every time I had it. So I guess it's not really a gadget, it's a gadget accessory, but I didn't drop it. Wow. Wow, how long did you have that in your possession? I think a week. One stress-filled week. Wow. And I flew over from Europe in order to give it to me for a segment that I was doing on a local station, not even a national station, um, and then he flew back the next week to retrieve it. Crazy. Who buys that? Harris Hilton. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here is the lightning round. Are you ready? Yes. What is the correct pronunciation of your last name? Well, if you speak Italian, I believe it's Della Conte, <laughs> but I do not, so I say Del Conte. And how do most people pronounce it? Del Conte, or Del Conte. Okay. Um, when we first met, we made a silly video about a fake fashion trend. Can you name it? Putting curlers on your beanie. Yes. Finish this sentence. The trailers for The Hangover were... Not one of those things that gives away the whole movie in the trailers. They were appropriate. Oh, no, I mean the ones that, uh, sorry, the ones that before The Hangover that we saw last night. Horrific and scary and kept me up all night. Yes. Can you name another famous Natalie who spells it your way? No. Yes, that's the correct answer. I tried to find another one. I was thinking Natalie Wood did, but she doesn't. Um, or didn't. And what is a website that you can't live without? Um, Goodreads.com. Okay, excellent. You did very, very well. Anything else that you would like the viewers of The Daily Allison to know? No, no, I think that's pretty complete, that I am um, kind of uh, organized chaos in the kitchen. Excellent. All right, well, good luck. Don't hurt yourself any further. Okay, I probably won't end up in the hospital. Don't worry. <laughs> Call me if you do. Okay, I will. 
Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll talk to you later.